Good day and welcome to Big Bad Tech. I'm instructor Jim Patel and today's topic of discussion is auto transformers. Our objective is to introduce the auto transformer. We'll compare and contrast traditional transformers with auto transformers and learn to analyze circuits including auto transformers. Recalling the transformers lecture available at the Big Bad Tech channel, we introduce the electrical device known as the transformer. Traditional transformers use a pair of inductively linked windings to step up or step down applied voltage and provide a means of electrically isolating one system from another. An auto transformer is a special type of transformer with only one winding, and that single winding, or portions of it, serve as both primary or secondary. Like traditional transformers, auto transformers can step up or down applied voltage depending upon configuration. The principal advantage of auto transformers is that in comparison to a similarly rated traditional transformer, auto transformers are smaller, lighter, and less expensive. The disadvantage of auto transformers is that, being constructed with a single winding, the primary and secondary windings are not electrically isolated from one another, and an auto transformer cannot be used in an application requiring electrical isolation between systems. A step-down auto transformer uses the complete single winding as the primary input, and only a portion of it is used as the secondary output. Conversely, a step-up auto transformer uses only a portion of the single winding as the primary input, and the complete winding is used as a secondary output. Let's look at each configuration separately. Perhaps the easiest way to visualize a step-down auto transformer is to first imagine a traditional one-to-one -one transformer with primary and secondary windings having identical turn ratios. Let's say 1,500 turns in the primary and 1,500 turns in the secondary. Let's say this traditional transformer has 120 volt rated voltage, a one amp rated current, and a power rating 120 volt amperes. Let's say this transformer weighs eight pounds. When 120 volts is applied to the primary and given a one-to-one -one turns ratio, 120 volts will appear across the secondary. Via the process of electromagnetic induction, 120 volt amperes of power could be transferred from the primary to the load and the secondary. In the present configuration, no physical electrical connection exists between the primary and secondary, and these windings can be considered to be electrically isolated from one another. If isolation isn't a necessity, consider the following modification. Configured as a step-down auto transformer, one would connect the previously isolated two windings in a series aiding fashion. This allows a total of 120 plus 120 or 240 volts to be applied across a single winding. Output is then taken across half the larger winding. If you want to think of it this way, the primary input winding is 1,500 plus 1,500 or 3,000 turns and the secondary output winding has 1,500 turns, even though they're part of the same winding we've in effect created a two to one step down auto transformer. For this configuration, 240 volt input results in 120 volt output. What's interesting about auto transformers is how current flows through them. You know configured in this fashion, each winding is still limited to a maximum of one amp. Consider a purely resistive 60 ohm load on the secondary. An application of AC Ohm's law solvent for current demonstrates the load draws two amps of current from the secondary side of the auto transformer. An application of the AC power formula demonstrates the load consumes 240 volt amperes of apparent power, of which 240 watts is directed towards real power and zero VARs is directed towards reactive interchange. Assuming the auto transformer is 100% efficient, we can say power in equals power out, such that the source must supply 240 volt amperes of apparent power. An algebraic manipulation of the power equation, solving for current, demonstrates the primary input side of the auto transformer would draw one amp of current from the 240 volt source. An application of Kirchhoff's current law at the center tap demonstrates one amp of current enters and two amps leaves. This means the remaining one amp comes from the secondary winding bottom to top. Ultimately, what you achieve in the step down configuration is two loops of current, both traveling clockwise. The high voltage low current primary side includes one path for current, whereas the low voltage high current secondary includes both paths. Consider the amount of power capable of being transferred by the auto transformer. You recall when configured as a traditional transformer, 120 volt ampere input resulted in 120 volt ampere output. You recall the transformer weighed eight pounds. Configured as an auto transformer, the same eight pound transformer uses both windings, each with a 120 volt and one amp rating transfers a total of 240 volt amperes of power. This is to suggest that auto transformers can transfer more power in a smaller, lighter, less expensive package. This being said, you'll note the single winding serving as both primary and secondary defeats the isolation feature of a traditional transformer because the primary and secondary are now electrically and physically tied together. 
I should note that a doubling of power rating is the maximum one might expect to achieve for an auto transformer. Other turns ratios do result in more power transfer, but not quite double as that of a traditional transformer with isolated primary and secondary windings. As an example, consider a traditional 4 to 1 step down transformer with a 480 volt and 1 amp rated primary and a 120 volt 4 amp rated secondary for a total rating of 480 volt amperes. Let's say the primary is 2000 turns, and the secondary is 500 turns. Now consider these same windings configured as a step down auto transformer with 2000 plus 500 or 2500 turns in the primary and 500 turns in the secondary. This means 480 plus 120 or 600 volts can be applied to the primary. The turns ratio of 2500 to 500 suggests that this is a 5 to 1 step down auto transformer. 600 volt input could be stepped down to 120 volt output. If we are asked to supply power to a 24 ohm load, an application of Ohm's law solved for current demonstrates the load would draw 5 amperes of current. An application of the AC power formula demonstrates the load consumes 600 volt amperes of apparent power, of which 600 watts is directed towards real power and 0 virus is directed towards a reactive interchange. Assuming the auto transformer is 100% efficient, we can say power in equals power out, such that the primary input must also supply 600 volt amperes of apparent power. An algebraic manipulation of the power equation, solving for current, demonstrates the primary input side of the auto transformer must draw one amp of current from the source. An application of Kirchhoff's current law at the center tap demonstrates one amp of current enters and five amps leaves. This means the remaining four amps would travel through the secondary winding bottom to top. What you achieve in the step down configuration is two loops of clockwise traveling current, one having a magnitude of one amp the other having a magnitude of 4 amps, such that the load experiences 1 plus 4 or 5 amps of current. As previously, consider the amount of power capable of being transferred by these same windings when configured as an auto transformer. You recall when configured as a traditional transformer, it only had a rating of 480 volt amps. However, when configured as a step down auto transformer, it allows the same device to transfer 600 volt amperes and an increase of 1.25 times without ever exceeding the rating of either winding. Let's now take a look at step up auto transformers. As previously, it's perhaps easiest to visualize a step up auto transformer by first imagining a traditional one to one transformer with primary and secondary windings having identical turns ratio. Let's say 1,500 turns in the primary and 1,500 turns in the secondary. As previously, let's say this traditional transformer has a 120 volt rated voltage, a one amp rated current, and a power rating of 120 volt amperes. Let's again say this transformer weighs eight pounds. When 120 volts is applied to the primary and given a 1 to 1 turns ratio, 120 volts will appear across the secondary. Via the process of electromagnetic induction, 120 volt amperes of power could be transferred from the primary to the load and the secondary. In the present configuration, no physical electrical connection exists between the primary and secondary and these windings could be considered to be electrically isolated from one another. If isolation isn't a necessity, consider the following modification. Configured as a step up auto transformer, one would connect the two windings in a series aiding fashion and primary input voltage would be applied to one half of the now conjoined single winding. If you want to think of it this way, the primary input winding has 1500 turns and the secondary output winding has 1500 plus 1500 or 3000 turns even though they're part of the same winding. We've in fact created a 1 to 2 step up auto transformer. Given these two coils are inductively linked, if 120 volts is applied to the primary, 120 plus 120 or 240 volts appears across a series aiding configuration. Let's now examine how current flows through step up auto transformers. You'll note configured in this fashion, each winding is limited to a maximum of 1 amp. Consider a purely resistive 240 ohm load on the secondary. An application of Ohm's law solving for current demonstrates the load draws 1 amp of current from the secondary side of the auto transformer. An application of the AC power formula suggests the load consumes 240 volt amperes of apparent power, of which 240 watts is directed towards real power and zero VARs is directed towards a reactive interchange. Assuming the auto transformer is 100% efficient, we could say power in equals power out, such that the primary input must also supply 240 volt amperes of apparent power. An algebraic manipulation of the power equation solved for current demonstrates the primary input side of the auto transformer draws 2 amps of current from the 120 volt source. An application of Kirchhoff's current law at the center tap demonstrates two amps of current enters and one amp travels through the load in a clockwise direction. This means one amp travels through the bottom winding top to bottom. 
which you achieve in the step up configuration is two loops of current, both traveling clockwise. One amp of current circulates like this, and another amp of current circulates like this. The low voltage high current primary includes both paths, whereas the high voltage low current secondary side includes just one. Consider the amount of power capable of being transferred by the auto transformer. You recall what configured as a traditional auto transformer, 120 volt ampere input resulted in 120 volt ampere output. You recall this transformer weighed eight pounds. Configured as an auto transformer, the same eight pound transformer uses both windings, each with a 120 volt and one amp rating transfers a total of 240 volt amperes of power. As we observed in the step down configuration, step up auto transformers can transfer more power in a smaller, lighter, less expensive package. This being said, you'll note the single winding serving as both primary and secondary defeats the isolation feature of a traditional transformer because the primary and secondary are now electrically and physically tied together. As previously, I should note that a doubling of power rating is the maximum one might expect to achieve for auto transformers. Other turns ratios result in more power transfer, but not quite double as that of a traditional transformer with isolated primary and secondary windings. As an example, consider a traditional 1 to 3 step up transformer with a 120 volt 3 amp rated primary and a 360 volt and 1 amp rated secondary for a total power rating of 360 volt amperes. Let's say the primary is 1000 turns and the secondary is 3000 turns. Now consider these same windings configured as a step up auto transformer in the following fashion. With 1000 turns in the primary and 3000 plus 1000 or 4000 turns in the secondary. The 1000 and 4000 turns ratio suggests this is a 1 to 4 step up auto transformer. When 120 volts is applied to the primary, output would be stepped up to 480 volts. If we are asked to supply power to a purely resistive 480 ohm load, an application of Ohm's law solving for current demonstrates the load draws 1 amp of current. An application of the AC power formula demonstrates the load consumes 480 volt amperes of apparent power, of which 480 watts is directed towards real power and 0 vars is directed towards a reactive interchange. Assuming the auto transformer is 100% efficient, we can say power in equals power out, such that the primary input side must also supply 480 volt amperes of apparent power. An algebraic manipulation of the power equation solving for current demonstrates the primary input side of the auto transformer must draw 4 amps of current from the 120 volt source. An application of Kirchhoff's current law at the middle tap demonstrates 4 amps of current enters and 1 amp of current travels through the load. This means 3 amps travels through the bottom winding. What you achieve in the step up configuration is two loops of clockwise traveling current, where one amp travels like this and three amps travels like this, such that the low voltage high current primary experiences both current paths, whereas the high voltage low current secondary experiences one. Again, let us consider the amount of power capable of being transferred by the auto transformer. You recall, when configured as a traditional transformer, it was limited to a rating of 360 volt amperes. These same windings configured as a step up auto transformer allows the device to transfer 480 volt amperes, an increase of 1.33 times, again without exceeding the rating of either winding. Alright, now that we've got a basic understanding of auto transformers in both step down and step up configurations, let's see if you can handle these beasts on your own. Given these circuits including auto transformers, see if you can first determine the auto transformer as a step down or a step up configuration, and then, once you've figured that out, determine the voltage, current and power experienced by each load as well as the current drawn from the source. Additionally, see if you can illustrate how current flows through the larger circuit. To keep things easy, let's assume these auto transformers are 100% efficient. The example on the left has an auto transformer with 2300 windings in the primary and 2000 windings in the secondary, being supplied by a 277 volt source with an 80 ohm at an angle 20 degree load. The second example on the right has 1000 turns in the primary and 1730 windings in the secondary. It's being powered by a 120 volt source and the load is 57 ohms at an angle of 30 degrees. By all means, pause the lecture and try this on your own. If you're tracking, you should have obtained the following results. Our first illustrated example features an auto transformer in a step down configuration in that the larger primary input side has 2300 turns whereas the smaller secondary output side has only 2000 turns. This auto transformer has a 2300 to 2000 or 1.15 to 1 turns ratio. 277 volt primary input would be stepped down to roughly 240.9 volts. An application of Ohm's law demonstrates the load draws roughly 3 amps of current at an angle of negative 20 degrees. An application of the AC power formula demonstrates the load consumes 725.2 volt amperes of apparent power, 
of which 681.5 watts is directed towards real power and 248 VARs is directed towards a reactive interchange. Assuming the auto transformer is 100% efficient, we can say the primary input must supply the same amount of apparent power. An algebraic manipulation of the power equation solving for current demonstrates the primary input side of the auto transformer must draw roughly 2.6 amps of current at an angle of negative 20 degrees from the 277 volt source. An application of Kirchhoff's current law at the secondary tap demonstrates 2.6 amps of current at an angle of negative 20 degrees enters and roughly 3 amps of current at an angle of negative 20 degrees leaves. This means 392.7 milliamps of current at an angle of negative 20 degrees would circulate like this and roughly 2.6 amps at an angle of negative 20 degrees would circle like this. What you get in the step down configuration is two loops of current both traveling clockwise. On the high voltage low current primary side it includes only one path for current whereas the low voltage high current secondary side includes both. The second illustrated example features an auto transformer in the step up configuration and that the smaller primary input side is 1000 turns whereas the larger secondary output side is 1730 turns. This auto transformer has a 1 to 1.73 turns ratio. 120 volt primary input is stepped up to roughly 270.6 volts. An application of Ohm's law demonstrates the load draws roughly 3.6 amps at an angle of negative 30 degrees. An application of the AC power formula demonstrates the load consumes 756.1 volt amperes of apparent power of which 654.8 watts is directed towards real power and 378.1 VARs is directed towards a reactive interchange. Assuming the auto transformer is 100% efficient, we can say an identical amount of apparent power is supplied by the primary. An algebraic manipulation of power equation solving for current demonstrates the primary input side of the auto transformer must draw roughly 6.3 amps of current at an angle of negative 30 degrees from the 120 volt source. An application of Kirchhoff's current law at the tap demonstrates 6.3 amps of current at an angle of negative 30 degrees enters and roughly 3.6 amps of current at an angle of negative 30 degrees travels through the load. This means 2.7 amps at an angle of negative 30 degrees travels like this and 3.6 amps at an angle of negative 30 degrees travels like this. What you experience in a step up configuration is two loops of current both traveling clockwise. The low voltage high current primary includes both paths at 6.3 amps at an angle of negative 30 degrees whereas the high voltage low current secondary side includes one the 3.6 amps at an angle of negative 30 degrees drawn by the load. Alright that's about it for today. As a closing observation regarding auto transformers, you'll note it would be possible to create a variable voltage source using an auto transformer with a sliding tap that changed the primary to secondary turns ratio such that given constant input, output voltage could be varied as a function of tap position. On a very basic level, an adjustable auto transformer might form the primitive core of a fixed frequency variable voltage magnitude power supply. Given a fixed number of turns in the primary, less turns in the secondary results in less output and more turns in the secondary results in more output. In conclusion this lecture introduced the auto transformer. We compared and contrasted auto transformers with traditional transformers and learned to perform circuit analysis on circuits including auto transformers. Remember to review these concepts as often as you need to really drive it home. Imagine how well lab will go if you know what you're doing. Thank you very much for your attention and interest and we'll see you again during the next lecture of our series. Remember to tell your lazy lab partner about this resource and be sure to check out the Big Bad Tech channel for additional resources and updates.